guys today we're gonna talk about this iMac right here I just bought one my last Apple Mac product was a 2012 MacBook Pro and let me tell you what buying this thing brand new this year from the store the Apple store in 2020 has absolutely impressed me like I'm just super impressed It's very powerful. You get a very, very strong and badass machine. By the way, let's just take a look at how thin this all-in-one 5K screen is. This thing is, it's aluminum. This is the best looking all-in-one built computer you're ever gonna get. And it's super powerful and you get a 5K screen. Now, what you're seeing through this camera right here does not represent how good I see this TV screen in person. This thing looks amazing, beautiful. I've never had a more better looking screen in my life. So yeah, man, I mean, this thing is a work machine. If you wanna be professional, you wanna edit videos, you wanna make some beats, some BS, this is the machine you want. It's built for all that stuff. And this thing is powerful. As a matter of fact, iMacs get the reputation that they are not for gaming. Oh, if you want a gaming PC, which by the way, I have one, this big ass case right here is a gaming PC. It's turned off right now. That's my gaming PC setup right here. This is my iMac. I got the iMac because I want to edit videos for you guys, right? <laughs> As a matter of fact, I can get Windows running on my Mac and play everything I can on, on my normal computer. I have it on here. I have it on my, on my iMac. I'll play Modern Warfare, Call of Duty. I got some gameplay right here. Um, this thing does absolutely everything All right so now we are on the windows side of things and uh, windows is absolutely free by the way um i'm running this on a program called boot camp on the apple side of things and uh yeah windows is completely free um the, now you just can't customize it that's the thing now if you pay for the version of windows then you can customize it all you want however you want that's it that's the only difference so windows is free but if you want to customize your background and change the color and all that stuff you got to pay for that that's it there's no difference you can do whatever you want these are some of the games i have installed on windows here so we're just gonna go ahead and play call of duty modern warfare all right so these are my settings right here you can see that's my graphics card on the iMac that displays the iMac, you only get 60 frames per second. Now that is one downside to using the screen. I think there is a way where you can connect your screen, get a second monitor, play the game on the second monitor, and then you can unlock higher uh, frame rates, screen frame rates. But on the iMac screen, you're only gonna get 60 frames per second, which for me is totally fine. I play 60 frames on the PS4 anyways, it's good enough. It's not like I'm locked down to 30. I am playing the game at 1080p. As you can see, that's the resolution right there. So this is HD, and you're gonna get full 60 frames per second at HD, for sure. Everything's in normal settings, which is totally fine for me. Um, this game runs without a hitch, nothing wrong going on. Um, you get 60 frames per second here. You're gonna get 60 frames per second in the game. We're just gonna go ahead and start a game. Oh, all right. So you guys are gonna see that I'm clearly playing on the PC yeah, with a controller. Um, definitely possible. Full 60 frames per second. Oh shit! Oh, I was not ready for that. One hour later. 
Yeah, it plays fine, man. Nothing, nothing wrong there. Apart from me getting kills. Two hours later. Oh, he put another claymore. All right. Anyways, you guys can clearly see. Oh, look at how he killed me. Look at this shit. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Anyways, you can clearly see. Let me turn down the game. Or just mute it. You can clearly see this game is easily playable. If you can play Call of Duty Modern Warfare on this, you're going to be able to play anything you want. Anything at all. I mean, the, the graphics look amazing. Um, this game looks spectacular. I was I was editing this uh, this fish bass design that I did. And uh, iMac... My Macs are built for this, bro. They are working machines. So yeah, man, if you're thinking about getting an iMac in 2020, I have the specs of mine down below. I think technically this is a 2019 iMac and I'm still incredibly impressed with it. Um, you get eight gigs of RAM, which you can upgrade yourself. I recommend you do that. You get a graphics card that's pretty powerful and I, I only got the lowest end possible graphics card by the way this is the 27 inch iMac which gives you a pretty big a pretty big uh screen I cannot focus my camera but you get a very very good screen big screen for a desk 27 inch iMac right here and you get the Radon Pro 570x graphics card in there that's an AMD graphics card or processor I'm not the most smartest person when it comes to computers but this thing is powerful you can do absolutely anything you want on it it's capable of doing anything you can make beats on here and let me let me tell you something i have a windows pc bro i have i have a i'll turn it on real quick look turn on turns on its cool little lights um i have a windows pc there's windows right here and I'll tell you from experience, man, just, just from straight up experience, there are no programs on a Windows PC. This is Windows, in case you're wondering. There's no programs on a Windows PC for free that are better than the programs that come for free on an iMac that only run on Apple. This thing is a workhorse. Professional, built to last, reliable if you're looking to get one of these i highly recommend it i'm going to throw my specs down i got the lowest end and it's capable of everything the only upgrade i did was change if you're uh, new to this channel subscribe hit that like button um i'm going to be doing product reviews like this regularly i absolutely love this imac um Again, incredible machine. I'm super impressed with it. It's insane how strong it is. And anything I can do on the on a regular PC, I can do it on a Mac, but slightly better. The specs of my PC, I have a uh, I have a 1050 Ti gra graphics card, i7 core, and I have 16 gigs of RAM. So it's it's a decent it's a decent machine, but I feel like this iMac just does it better for comparison if you know about computers the Cymac is absolutely capable of everything so this is Dorian Barber tuning out hit that like button subscribe and if you want to check out my other channel where I'm going to be playing video games I'm going to show you guys I'm going to do videos on that channel of uh playing various games can you game on an iMac in 2020 follow that channel I'm be doing a lot more video game stuff I'll cover cyberpunk 2077 um the last of us part two when those come out so yeah peace